This is another episode of English Exposed, where I expose the truth about English. In the last video, I posted this picture. Can you see what's wrong with it? The question is, can it be a meeting room with only one person? Meeting is defined as an assembly of people for a particular purpose, especially for formal discussion. So it's funny because we can't have a meeting with ourselves, or can we? What should the sign read? If you said only one person allowed at a time, this is not a meeting room. Write these words in alphabetical order. Did this kid get it right? I think he or she did. This next one is funny because the directions are very clear and the child actually got it right. It says, write these words in alphabetical order. Do you know how the teacher should have written the instructions? Put these words in order alphabetically or put these words in alphabetical order. Putting words in order means to move them into the right place. When you put something, you move it. Yeah, that would work. But when you're talking to children, sometimes you have to be specific. Do you know what amphibious means? Living in or suited for both land and water, like a frog or a specifically designed vehicle. So what should the word be in this headline? Here's a hint. You need a word that means able to use the right and left hands equally well. And the word does start with an A. If you said ambidextrous, you're right. Ambidextrous. And this pitcher can pitch with both his right and left hand. He might be amphibious too, if he can swim. Everyone is talking about COVID this and COVID that. I'm not going to do that here, but I had to laugh when my dear sweetheart brought home a bottle of hand sanitizer with this label on it. It made me laugh. Do you see anything wrong with it? I realize that this is a logo and you can name a product anything you'd like. It should say bearded monkey. It's supposed to be this type of monkey, which is called a bearded monkey. And monkeys don't use hand sanitizer. I'm going to show you a short video that was filmed during the 1950s. Well, 1955 to be exact. I think it's an interesting video because it's talking about English and English as English, not as a second language. If words then, if language is more than words, what makes words operate? Well, words operate in language because language is pattern. And the thing that makes words work are patterns. That okay, one of my YouTube students asked me to explain a little bit about the tenses. I'm going to show you quickly the patterns you should be looking for when you're studying English tenses. In this diagram, you can see that we have a subject, or we'll call it an actor. This subject is going to do something in the past, the present, or the future. So, for example, she is, is present. She was, is past. She will, or she is going to, is future. That's the first part. Now you need an action, the verb. Let's use walk. She is walking 
She was walking. She will walk. Or she is going to walk. If you use simple past, she walked. Now you need a result. She walked where? She walked to school. He walked where? He walked to work. She walked home. Ah, that terrible word. Never say to home. I don't know why. We can say to work and to school, but never to home. She walked home. That's a basic sentence. You can practice this now. Look at this. What simple sentence would you use for this action? Use ing. The action is happening now. He is cutting down the tree. Did you use cutting? We have to use that continuous tense because he was doing it in the moment. Here's the next one. What's the past tense of cut? He cut that tree down with a chainsaw. You need to know that the past tense for cut is cut. Here's the next one. What are you going to use? Will or going to? He will remove the tree with a backhoe or he is going to remove the tree with a backhoe. Both are correct. You should say he is going to remove the tree because you can see that he is doing it right now. You know when, where, and how. But native speakers use will and going to the same. It doesn't matter. We don't think about it. Whatever is easiest for you. But now you know why we have going to and will. Wow, this was supposed to just be an introduction, but I think I covered more than that. I hope this has helped. And to my YouTube student, thank you so much for asking. Can you see what's wrong with it? Please remember that I do post English Exposed videos once a month. However, I do post a regular video once a week. So until next time, my students. Thanks for watching.